Nina from Charlotte. Lisa Dixon from Charlotte, from North Carolina. Carolina. We are legends. Rosie from St. Kitts, Florida. Canada. Deanna from Maryland. Miriam from North Carolina. Sharon from Forestville, Maryland. Anna Jones Miles from Dallas, Texas. Also Arlene from Frederick, Maryland. Lisa from Canada. Ernita from Canada. From St. Kitts. Kelly from Boston. Columbus, Ohio. Wanda from New York. Vivian from Atlanta. All right, I'm going to mute you guys for just a second. Listen, if you're jumping on, <clears throat> we have a really <laughs> important guest on, right? You know how you have a really important guest coming over and your parents make you get it together, right? What I want you guys to do is make sure you please shut your videos off. If your TV's on, shut your TV off. Guys, you want to hear everything. You want to hear all of the people from all over the country jumping in on this call. You want to go ahead and uh, get into your um, chats, your telegrams, your Facebook messenger. This is the call that you don't want to miss. Shut your TV off for me for just a second. After you state your name, let me know where you're calling from. You can go ahead and mute out your line. So. I want to hear the energy out there, though. Not your TVs, but I want to hear your energy. So go ahead and state your name. Let me know where you're calling from, please. Junior Doe from Trinidad. from Pennsylvania. I'm really excited. Raheem Jones, Obama, Brooklyn, New York. Stephen from Sedona, Arizona. Edward Norris, Mass Obamas. Kevin Alex Ben. Kevin Alex Ben, Earthward Street from Jamaica. Cindy George from Gary from Delaware. Vivian from Montreal. Has Brian Davis, Trent, New Jersey. Elvira Dallas, Texas. Jamaica. St. Kitts. Joe Exotic. Shana, Delaware. Marcia Dr. Nine. from the Bahamas. Charlene from the Bahamas. Barbados. Daddy's Sterling. Hello, this is Jade Maria from Columbus, Ohio. Hey, Jade. Marcella from Merlin. Neil Carroll from Texas. Thank you. Anita from North Carolina. Gloria <laughs> <laughs> Johnson from Alabama. Hello. Gloria from North Carolina. Hey, hey, this is here from Columbus, Ohio. All right, welcome to the call. Who else do we have out there? Grace Washington. Octavia Spencer from Virginia. 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 Jenny G, Los Angeles. All right, welcome to Ron Black from Washington, D.C. Bob and Fargo Beach. Get the password? The password is wealth. The password is wealth. Wealth, you're right. The password to get in is wealth, right? Guys, thank you so much. If you haven't done so already, go into the chats because we're getting started on time, right? Time is money. We want to make sure we respect our guest's time tonight. So. Go ahead and reach out to all the people who need to jump on the call. If you haven't done so already, state your name. Let me know where you're calling from, please. Hello, this Mike is Cindy Gray, Baltimore. Baltimore. Ohio. Jerry Jerry Clark. Clark. Jump on the call. Clark, Clark, Cambridge, Ontario. Jump on the call. Sherry. Lanier from Maryland. David from Maryland. Clayton from Tennessee. Yes. Elizabeth Bahamas. Bob, 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 Katrina Katrina from All right, welcome, welcome to the call. Who else do we have out there? Tiffany from California. All right, welcome, welcome. Who else do we have? Greg Poole, Silver Spring, Maryland. Ali from Germany. All right, welcome to the call. Ali from Augusta, Georgia. All right, welcome, Ali. Anthony Hubbard from Canada. All right, welcome to the call. Yeah, from Atlanta, from Georgia. Georgia. Tracy, New Jersey. Angela from Toronto, Canada. All right, welcome to the call. Somebody's a little background noise. Big John, state of Maryland. All right, welcome, Big John. Andre from Panama. Clarice from Bahamas. Bill from North Carolina. All right, welcome, Bill. Who else do we have out there? Sabrina, Pennsylvania. 
Sharon UK. All right, welcome to UK. Anita from Jamaica. All right, welcome to the call. It's Holly Atlanta. All right, welcome, welcome. Roy, Toronto. Jill from North Carolina. North Carolina. All right. Linda, North Carolina. Wilhelmina, Miami. All right, welcome to the call. Austin. North Carolina. All right, all right. One second, I'm going to mute you guys for just a second. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for jumping aboard. If you are just getting on the call, you've never been on this call before, you're definitely in for a treat. Uh, we are actually having a special guest. I'm going to talk about that in just a moment. If you would, just a little housekeeping. Go ahead and turn your videos off for me, right? We want to we want to see you, not all of you though. So go ahead and turn your videos off. We're going to get started here in just a few minutes. Um, if my uh, special guest is out there, I don't. Can you raise your hand so I can uh, make you co-host? And then also, Dr. PK, if you're out there, yes, she's here. Awesome, awesome. Dr. PK, are you out there as well? Can you raise your hand so I can see you? There you are. The woman of the hour, two of them. All right. You guys can see us finally. All right, ladies and gentlemen, listen, we wanna welcome each and every one of you. I don't know if you can see both of us. We wanna welcome each and every one of you to this very, very special call. Um, and I'm gonna get actually right to the point because we have a special guest and I'm super excited about this young lady. But before we actually get started, um, I want everyone to know that Reagan and I are just thrilled at the number of people who have partnered. But what we're doing right now is every single month, we are bringing on some really powerful leaders. The first Sunday of every month, uh, a lot of times people get into our industry and they know everyone else. They know the, the greats and the bas on the basketball teams, football teams. But if you're going to be in this industry, you definitely want to know um, the greats. And when I got into this industry years ago, the first person I went to is one of the young ladies that we have on this call. So I'm super excited about that. Now, before we actually get started, I do want to introduce myself. My name is Megan Lynch. This is my twin sister, Reagan. If you guys could go ahead and uh, turn your videos off for me, please. I'll help you out with that. Just click your videos off so that we don't have any mishaps, okay? Now, I'm super excited. Those of you um, who have been getting on my calls, you know that I started in this industry years ago. I taught high school for about 14 years. Um, long story short, a lot of my students were going to jail, getting killed. I've gone to more funerals of young men and women that I ever want to talk about. So I decided um, to do something about it. So I became a social entrepreneur. I was looking for ways for my young people to make money. Uh, really quickly, I actually uh, met some people who had given me a $100,000 grant. And long story short, my principal, you guys know, stole my money. Um, I got a lawyer. He fired me February 1st, 2016, which honestly was the best thing he could have ever done because it allowed me to meet some really, really successful people that really poured into me. And I discovered the world of uh, relationship marketing or affiliate marketing. Uh, I got into one of my first companies. I was super excited about it. And I was watching this young lady actually on Periscope at the grocery store. I was watching her everywhere. Everywhere she went, I was watching because I realized that if I wanted to be even half of what she was in this industry, I was going to have to study the greats, pay homage to people who, you know, have gone, you know, before us, who have gone through the tough times. So I'm super excited to um, have this young lady on. Now, I do want to go ahead and introduce my twin sister. Uh, this is my heart. I know she can tell her own story. So I want to go ahead and introduce you to my partner who has been with me every step of the way. Uh, she came over here with us in this industry and she's done some amazing things. So I do want to give my sister an opportunity to just introduce herself to all of you. Hello, everybody. So thank you, Megan. I appreciate you so much. Um, you know, I jump on the calls. I'm always, I'm in the background working. I'm, you know, I'm doing three-way calls and things like that, but I really appreciate Megan 
so much for just being out front, being the face, you know, doing the training. I tell her all the time, you know, that she's an amazing teacher and this is a great opportunity for her to just, you know, do what she does best, lead people, train people, teach people. And I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her because she's always looking for an opportunity. Sometimes we go through things in life and we have to take a minute, take a minute and step away, you know, but that doesn't mean that, you know, that we're, we're not going to push forward. We're not going to persevere. So I, I really appreciate Megan for staying in the trenches, you know, staying in the mud. Um, again, my name's Reagan Lynch. I talk to a lot of you guys um, on the phone every day, and I've just met so many amazing people in this opportunity. And um, I'm going to be introducing uh, someone that's very dear to me. I've just met her just a couple weeks ago. And with this opportunity, I've been able to connect with such amazing people like our seniorpreneurs group. And I said, I feel like I have like 150 grandparents. So um, I'm really appreciative of this uh, lady that I'm going to bring on to introduce our guest speaker. Um, so I want to introduce to you guys, Dr. PK. You guys have heard her on her on our call. She's powerful. She's inspiring. She talks to me every day. She calls me every day and just really keeps me going. But she is really in here working her business. She is um, she's a, one of our seniorpreneurs, like I said, but she, she has me on the phone daily with people. She's in control of her own business and she's leading her team. So I want to introduce to you guys um, Dr. PK. Can you hear me? Yes, yes ma'am. All righty. Good God of mercy. This is so exciting. I can hardly stand it myself. Thank you so much, Reagan. Uh, you all, as a result of Reagan and Megan and this phenomenal opportunity, I just stepped right over into another rank last night. I'm shaking and, and, and acting like a, a, a child on Christmas morning. Thank you all so, so much because I know I never, I've been in this industry since 1975, part-time working full-time as a chaplain in the United States Army. And I have never, ever experienced anything like this for real and so i it, as quickly and i thank god for each of you and for what you do for us i really really thank you for honoring the seniors you see as um as a seasoned uh, network marketer and a uh, retired army chaplain i have children all over the world and today i'm going to i feel so honored to be able to introduce this particular person because i met her in the network marketing industry back in 2009 up close and personal why? Because she was absolutely breaking records, knocking open doors, riding around in Atlanta, Georgia, in a bus with her picture and contact information on it. She uh, resides between two of the hottest cities in America, Atlanta, Georgia, and Miami, Florida. And today she's here with our family because I believe God ordained it to be so. And <clears throat> she can share with you whatever she wants to share with you because I believe that she has something that she wants to bring to the table that will absolutely change each of our businesses if we take action and listen to what she has to say. So with no further ado, I'm going to move out of the way and bring on our special guest for this month. I absolutely love you. Thank God for you. And thank God that you said yes when I asked you to come over here today. This, you all, is Miss Stormy Wellington, and she's going to come on and be interviewed by uh, the twins who absolutely love her. And uh, I like to uh, bring to the front of the line Miss Stormy Wellington. Stormy? Are you there? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Pastor PK. Can you hear me? And I don't know if you're supposed to see me, but can you hear me okay? Yes, I can see you too. All right, great stuff. Hello, ladies. Hello, I can everyone. Hear you okay? Hi there. How are you? I am doing amazing. How about you all? How are you guys doing? We doing are good. doing. I'm going to spotlight you. Let me see if I can spotlight you on my stop sharing. There we go. All right. <laughs> Well, Stormy, we are so excited to have you on here. You know, we, we watch you every day. I think that people forget that if you're going to be in an industry, like I just said, and you're going to really make some waves, you have to be watching the greats. And, and I tell people every day when I'm talking to them, I'm like, 
Deb, you watched for me? Did you see Boss versus Employee? I think you did that one in your car like years ago. And I'm just excited to have you on here. And what we're basically doing every single month, we're paying homage to the greats in this industry. And uh, once a month, we want to have a guest speaker on. Uh, not to, you know, we were just talking about the industry as a whole. So is it okay if we just ask you a few questions? We know you're super busy. No, absolutely. I prefer for you to, you know, ask me questions versus me just talk, because I could talk a lot. <laughs> well, we, we, we've been watching you. But, I say. Well, go ahead. No, we definitely wanted to give you your accolades. So, you know, just who you are in the industry. So, Megan, if you can in introduce her that way. <laughs> she always makes me talk. Um, and for those of you who don't know, I mean, I've been sharing Stormy's videos because I think a lot of times there might be a little competition sometimes in the industry. And I've met a lot of people and I said, man, I just want to know everybody. We could pull from, you don't have to be in the same business to, to grow from someone else. Damon Coleman, I was able to meet him like a few years ago. And I know he's a, a partner of yours. But for those of you who don't know, Stormy has um, an amazing story, number one. Uh, she's made millions of dollars. You know, she's gotten into an industry. She's she uh, came aboard. I think she's at. I don't know. I don't even know what you're at right now, but I know it's probably close to a couple hundred, five hundred thousand something a month. And I know you're doing amazing things. And it's not always about the money. It's about helping people. And I remember meeting you for the first time. And I don't know if you remember Reagan and I, but we were in Detroit at the um, TLC convention or the open grand opening, and we were able to just take a picture with you. And, and it was really the highlight because when you're in an industry and you meet someone that you've been watching for so many years, um, you know, it was really an experience for the both of us. So I just want to go ahead and jump in because I know you're super busy. Um, people talk about this industry a lot, the network marketing industry. And I know we deal with you know, people saying things that are, they're not really informed about our industry, but everyone really wants to know, like, how did you how did you do it in this industry? How were you able to, you know, not born with a silver spoon, no one handed you anything, but how were you really able to become one of the number one marketers in the world? Uh, well, first of all, I want to say, I, I have to say this, I've been knowing uh, Pastor PK now for over 10 years, and I, I'm, I want to say to her, um, thank you for trusting me on this call, uh, because in this industry, you got to be very careful. Uh, with people you can't introduce every and anybody to your group and so definitely I just wanted to acknowledge uh, Pastor PK has been someone that I've loved and respected for years and so just the mere fact that, that she invited me to this call uh, I'm honored. Uh, how did I get started in this industry and, and why I guess that I go so hard? You know I, I love network marketing you know I've been in network marketing for now going on 12 years and when I first started like most of us you know on the line I got started just looking for a way to make an extra $500 to $1,000 a month. I really had no idea that fast forward today, I would be one of the highest income earners in the industry. You know, I had no idea that I would have one of the largest teams in the industry. And I had no idea that I would be able to be a person that people look up to. And the truth is, when I first got started, I just was looking for more money. Um, when I found the right company that fit my personality, and I looked at the simplicity of what we had to offer. To me, the only missing link to the whole puzzle was me. I had the right product. I had the right compensation plan. Uh, at the time, I had the right leaders. You know, the only thing that was missing was me making a decision. And so I find that when you find the right system for you, the right culture for you, and you really make a decision whether you're motivated by inspiration or desperation, then I think that amazing things can happen. You know, I get excited when I just think about even where we are right now today. Uh, we didn't have many of the things that, that, that you guys have access to now. When I started 11 years ago, it was really no social media like that. It was, I think, MySpace and Facebook maybe had just started. We really wasn't on YouTube and all of that stuff, you know, but what I had was, was hustle. I often tell people that hustling heart is two qualities that you need to have to really make it big in this industry. And so I had the hustle. I had the heart. What I was looking for was the right coach. And I think when you have the hustle, you have the heart, you have the desire, you make a decision and you attract the right coach in your life. And even this call that you all are doing now, I think is amazing because I learned from people that's not even in my company. You know, here I am close to a million dollars a month and my coaches and people that have mentored me 
they're not even in this company. So I think it really boils down to a decision. I think we don't give ourselves enough credit to the role we play in participating in our own rescue. I made a decision that I wanted to make extra money. And when I saw that I was able to make an extra thousand, then I wanted to make an extra 2000. And every goal I hit made me want to increase my goal and now set another goal, if that makes sense. No, it does. And I kind of want to follow up on, on what you just said. Uh, close to a million dollars a month is unheard of for most people. So where do you, you know, as you're, you're striving and you've broken all of these records, what's, what's next for Stormy? What are you, you know, what are you working on right now? I know you have an awesome um, coaching platform. You're helping a lot of different women. Um, so are you, what are you looking to do as you continue to be successful in network marketing? What are some other things that you're working on that maybe people can plug into? So, you know, I have my coaching program, you know, but you know what's so amazing for me? I like my coaching pro program. I love what we, what we bring to the world because we get to, uh, connect with people that's not in our company because in our industry, of course, you know, we make it seem as if I can't talk to you because you're not in my company. And I can't, you know, so I like the community that we have that people from other companies could be in this one community, get ideas from each other, learn from each other, have accountability uh, with each other. But I'm very, very, very much deeply engaged with my network marketing company. There was a point in time where I was really doing a lot of things. I don't know if you all know this, but I launched my own CBD line as well. Mm -hmm. So outside of my multi-level marketing company, I have my own CBD, CBD line. But my primary focus right now, because I believe that what you focus on expands, I'm back focused to getting to a million a month. I'm, I'm about 300,000 300, short. So I am very, very focused on crossing over that million dollar mark, uh, a goal, and then of course, I'm going to take my focus and put it into my own CBD line. But for me, I believe that you should focus intensely on one thing at a time before you try to have too many things going on. So my heart's desire for like the past five years has been to experience a million dollar a month income. And so once I get that solidified, of course, I'm sure I'm going to increase my goal again. But I have a mission of helping a thousand families. And so when it comes to all of the vehicles that I have my hands tied to right now, the only vehicle that really, really in my heart makes me believe that I can help a thousand families make six to seven figures is in my most level marketing company. Right now, you got 6.2 million people that have filed for unemployment. And then we have us here in network marketing, we have a business that's open 24 hours a day, seven days a week online without having to come in contact with people. Mm -hmm. So I'm back 1000% focused on my MLM company because I know that more people need us now than ever before. People right now are starting to, I believe, put more respect on the network marketing industry. You know, there was a point in time where it was funny and it was for the uneducated and the, and the people that couldn't get a real job. And it was for the schemers and the scammers. But I think now, you know, what people used to shun, they're now saying, come tell me more about this network marketing thing. So I'm very focused on that. I have several books I've written, uh, a book that is one of my favorite books. Actually, I have three books that I've written, but my book, The Nine Laws of Success, uh, is another project because I believe that it doesn't matter how bad an individual wants something. If you want it to be sustainable and long-term, you have to build your business on principles. And so right now, my goal is to teach my team how to build a solid foundation based upon principles. And so I'm focused more now than ever on really getting my MLM to, you know, where I want it to be in terms of my vision and my goals of what it looks like to have a solid million dollar a month uh, organization. Wow. I'm, I'm super, you know, I'm super excited because there's so much more. Every time I'm, I'm on your YouTube page, it's like a, a different level. <laughs> it's kind of like a, you know, peeling back those, those layers. And when you've been watching someone for so long, like Reagan and I have been watching you, it almost seems like, you know, that person's in your family and you're watching them to develop into this just amazing person. So I want to say thank you because I think you know how many people you help. I, I, I really truly believe that you know how many people you're impacting, but there's so many people that are just watching you and it gets us through those tough times. My twin sister had her third open heart surgery and that was the hardest part is network marketing allowed me to stay in the hospital with her for eight days. You know, I was a teacher. 
I would have never been able to take off eight days. I stayed in the, I'm not going to cry. I stayed in the hospital for eight days and watched my sister fight for her life. But the thing that got me was when she was making out her will and she had nothing to leave her kids. All she could do, she has four kids, brand new baby. The only thing that she could do was say where her kids were going to go. And I'm sitting there, you know, watching that, hoping and praying that we don't have to, you know, ever experience that with her. And then we come into this industry and she's never been a really big recruiter or anything like that, but we come into the industry and her lights got shut off five weeks ago and then came over here in five days and hit $5,000 a month, then 10,000, about to be at 20,000 a month. And it's, this is what this industry does for me. And I know you've been through a lot of hardships. What really, what, what were the things that got you through? Because I'm not to share your story or anything, but I know you've been through some hardships. I know people are going to experience losing parents and, and all of those things. What really do you feel like it was the biggest challenge for you in this industry to get to where you are now with all of the things that, cause I think people think, Oh, she's had it easy and now they see you and you're see where you are now and they forget that man, you have a story to tell what do you think was your biggest um challenge how did you get through that challenge to get to where you are right now uh well first of all uh ma'am your sister amazing story um and and for me you know it's really emotional intelligence um, my biggest challenge was emotional intelligence um this industry can be very challenging as well as very 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 rewarding but you have to learn how to get over your emotions you have to get over being sensitive you have to get over being easily offended you got to get over your personal uh ego you got to get over your pride and you got to find a sense of compassion empathy uh love you know, and patience. And, you know, when I recognize that either I am going to allow circumstances to grow me, which I grow through what I go through, or I'm going to allow circumstances to blow me. Uh, because I've been through things with losing people in my organization. I've been through the backbiting. I've been through the cross recruiting. I've been through losing legs of business to other companies and all of this stuff. And the truth is, emotional intelligence i believe has been my greatest weapon i'm not very sensitive um my feelings are not easily hurt um i'm a rich student i'm still a student to the industry though i'm almost at a million a month you know however many people are very ego driven they have a big ego they want to be the deal they want to you know um just not really understand that in network marketing people do not come with a psychiatric exam people do not come you know packaged the way you want them to but i believe as a coach your job is to take that person of value to where they desire to go and so i look at myself as a coach which means i sit high i'm able to look low i'm able to bring out the best in people and so once i got over my emotions Oh my God, like I have, I've been in network marketing for almost 12 years and we just launched a challenge within my team and it's so amazing, this challenge. And it, it hit me, I have 40 like superstars on my team. That's a big deal. Yeah. And so I've never experienced that. And I know that you become like the people you hang around, but I also know that your vibe attracts your tribe. So I am very authentic to me. There was a point in time where I tried to be what everybody wanted me to be. And I started to attract people that I just couldn't relate to and who I couldn't connect with. And so now, you know, I hang around very strong-minded people. You, ha you hang around five broke people, you make number six. You hang around five rich people, you make number six. My network is very small. My group of people that I talk to, you know, closely, I don't let everybody have access to me. I have a system. I have a community where all of my leaders, we support, we, 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 we plug in, we, we pour in, we serve. But I'm very, very particular with my access. I used to think that everybody should have access to you. And if not, you're so no, I, I have barriers and boundaries. And I truly, I'm very patient. I'm very patient. And I understand that you're building a business. 
And if you allow everything to throw you off and, and, and affect you emotionally, you're not going to get to that, that, that level of leadership that you now are developing people and, and you're now being progressively unnecessary. My goal as a leader is to be progressively unnecessary. Like I don't want to always be needed. Um, like the truth is this Zoom that I'm doing now um, is because of the love I have for Pastor PK, but I have such a group of core leaders that I don't do as much training calls because I want to be in the back because I believe leaders are in the front, legends are in the back. My goal is to go from leader to legend. So yeah. I'm pushing my people out there. Whatever books I'm reading, I give my intimate group access to that information. I believe you grow the people, the people will grow the business. And so I had to get over being easily offended. I had to get over politics. In this industry, people get caught up in the politics, which doesn't lead to the, doesn't lead to the paycheck. So once you get over all the minutia and the small things that could affect the big picture, I believe that is when you start to really prepare for what's to come. But until you get over your emotions and, and you exercise emotional intelligence, you're never going to get to that real, I think 20, 30,000 a month in income and network marketing, not many people get there. But I also think that 20, 30,000 a month in income could be dangerous because normally that kind of income is tied to like two or three legs of business. And so I just want to stay mature and emotionally intelligent that nothing can permeate me to the point where I get discouraged or I get weary or I get frustrated because now I'm at the point where it's like, let me identify who can be the next Stormy or close to Stormy and let me groom and grow you so therefore I can go to the background and push you up to the forefront. So emotional intelligence was what I had to really get to the place where I wasn't easily thrown off. That is awesome. And I'm going to piggyback because you said um, preparing the next stormy and I see your daughter is out there with you doing some amazing things. Right. Um, and I know she's just kind of coming to the forefront. I'm starting to see her a little bit more. Was it, um, a challenge to get your kids, because because we have kids. I have an 18 year old who's in the business with me. He's not really in the business. <laughs> He's not in the business yet. But um, I know that you're a mother. I, I watched this video where you were talking about you still have to do motherly things. You still got to do laundry and all of those kind of things and and take care of your kids. I know your kids are a little older, but uh, I have a six year old. You don't hear all that noise. I have a six year old son. Many people don't know that. <laughs> I, I remember when he was really small because we were in New Orleans and he was just, he was just tiny. So you're doing he is right here. Six year old. Yeah. Yeah. Right here. So, um, so I see your daughter's jumping out there. Was it easy to get her to kind of follow in your footsteps? Because I know she's doing some pretty amazing things. No, not at all. So my daughter was not interested at all in network marketing and i think it was because now that i look back and she explains it to me the culture was not conducive for her to want to be a part of it we were very mature you know back then majority of the leaders was over 45 50. Uh, i was the youngest leader we would wear big suits and big ties and you know briefcases and she just didn't feel like she belonged uh, but the culture of my company has changed so now she feels like it's a place for her. Um, and once she started to see that we got fun and we're fly and we're young and there's more of, of, of her energy, and she started to see people that she could relate to, she voluntarily wanted to be a part of it. Um, but it, it took, she's 20 years old. When she first got out of high school, she opened up her own boutique and she kind of played around in college a little bit. But she was like, mm -mm, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be on those conference calls. I don't like these long meetings that y'all go to. And, and one day she saw a young lady in my organization who I always told her they remind me of each other. And she saw that this young lady went from like 2,000 uh, a week to 20,000 a week. And she saw that everybody's energy changed. And she was like, I want to do this. And I remember sitting her down one day. And, you know, I've learned that you have to communicate with people in the way that they uh understand and comprehend i don't treat everybody like a cookie cutter i talk to my daughter the way i talk to her i talk to every team member on my team i talk to them differently they are individuals and one day i had a conversation with her and i spoke to her the way i know she liked to be spoken to and it was very rough it was very tough 
But baby, listen, I left my daughter that day and the next day she went to work. And literally in four months, my daughter got up to 20,000 a week in income. But it was once she believed that she could do it, once she felt like it was a place for her. She's 20 years old, making 20,000 a week. So I didn't do it for her. It clicked and the, and the conditions for her was clear. So she saw a place for her when everything made sense and lined up. That makes sense. Makes sense. Well, thank you so much. I do. Let me I see. I'm going to question. Oh, go ahead. I did want to ask you, Stormy. I know it's very important. I think in, oh, can you hear me? Okay. Um, I think it's very important in this business to have somebody to run with. And I know like Megan and I, we always have each other. Some people, you know, they get in this business and they try to do it on their own, you know, come up with their own ideas. You know, we, we tell them, like, keep it simple. But one thing that I know, uh, Megan always says, everybody needs to get her a Reagan because somebody that has your back, who is that person that's kind of uh, been with you through all of this, you know, through all of your any failures or successes? Do you have that one person or a couple people? Interestingly enough, it's changed. Very true. You should have an accountability partner um, that when you're weak, they're strong. Mm -hmm. You could bounce ideas off of. You know, in this industry, you often need somebody to vent to. Um, you know, the CEO of my company and I, we have a really good relationship. So any negativity or anything that I just need to unleash, I pretty much unleash on him. Um, <laughs> but, you know, there was a point when I had that one person, but I think that that's very dangerous too. Mm -hmm. Because you got to be careful because that one person could be, you know, you ever hear that saying, people come into your life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime? Mm -hmm. In this industry, people could be very seasonal, okay? So you got to be careful with who you attach yourself to because if they're not in the same energy or on the same frequency that you're on, and then now you're thrown off. So I'm very careful with getting too, 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 too close with my organization. However, I'm close with my C CEO. And I have a couple of people that I kind of look to, to, to like for mentorship um, or like coaches. Uh, but it's not one person. I would say it's maybe three or four people that I have is great accountability partners, um, great relationships, and they're, they make more money than me. So it helps me to connect yeah. with them. It's, it's not like they have anything to lose uh, by telling me the truth, if that makes sense. So I have about three to four people that I'm able to talk to whenever I just need that, that purge or that release or that strength. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if there's a lot of people who make more money than you <laughs> in a month, but no, I, I get what you're saying. You know what? Maybe they don't make any, maybe I make more money than them now. <laughs> right. Thank I, you for that. Thank yeah. You. Get it right. I don't <laughs> think they make more money than you. And that's what I tell people. I said, listen, these, there's so many different companies out here, but I love what you said. You have to find what speaks to you. I, I learned everything when I was in, I'm still using the product. I'm a faithful customer. <laughs> and you know, you do find that company that speaks for you or speaks to you. And I just want to say thank you because every time that Reagan and I, you know, went to a convention or anything and you were there, you were just so personable. And it's hard because everybody, Reagan and I are nowhere near even like a speck of what you are, but it's a challenge. You know, when you have a gazillion phone calls a day, and sometimes you just have to not answer. And I haven't figured out how to not answer yet. I just go like straight. And, and I don't, I think right now I'm having a lot of fun doing what I'm doing, but sometimes people can think you're a little harsh. And I always say, you know, you, you can't excuse your way to a million dollars, you know, and you're at almost a million dollars a month. And I, we're just so thankful that you even took this time to just, Spend, you know, 20 minutes with us, 30 minutes with us, because we know you're super busy. And this honestly, like, made, <laughs> it made our day for real. So do you have anything else? I don't want to leave you on here too long. So I know you got things to do, people to see. Um, I think we're, we're all we got. This industry is so big. There's so many people in the world. There's no need for anyone to step on anybody else's toes. I feel as if, if we, we, we find a home, we make that, you know, the place where we plant our flag and look at who can we help. It's not about my company, your company. It's about where you are. So where you're planted, grow where you're planted, and don't forget about people who don't know that your company exists. At the end of the day, when you have a heart for people, 
that's what this industry thrives on. It thrives on you looking at what you have and asking yourself, if what I have, can it make your life better? And once you accept the fact that you have something that can make somebody's life better, it becomes your responsibility to get the word out to as many people as you can. And I think when you chase the money, it's, 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 it, it doesn't last. It has to be something more significant, you know, your contribution outside of you just looking at a dollar sign. It has to be the value that you know your company and you are adding to the lives of the people, especially in this trying time right now where people are quarantined to their homes, people are afraid, people don't know how they're gonna pay their bills. You have to look at what you have and find a way that you can give people hope, give people peace, but give them a system that they know that being attached to you and your company can help them to live a better qualitative life. And I think when you get that under wraps and you understand it's not about you, it's about we, the whole human race right now is in a fight, a fight for, for, for life, period. We're, mm -hmm. in, we're in our homes right now fighting to make sure we don't catch a virus. That's a big deal. Yeah. And so I think we're all in this together. I wish you ladies and gentlemen much success. I hope that I said something that makes you hold on and go strong. And yeah. I, I'm honored that I was able to even be invited on your call today. May God bless your businesses. May you go out there and change the world as we grow this industry together and make this industry what I believe it was supposed to be a long time ago, a place for people to have hope, freedom, yeah. and a level playing field for every single one of us. Thank you, Thank so, you much. so much. Stormy, Megan, Reagan, you, know, you Stormy, are. Oh, Stormy, can you, can you show your book up? Stormy, can Megan. you show your book really quickly? Because I know. Oh, yeah. My book, The Nine Laws of Success. How to attract the love, the life, and the success that you want. Take a picture of it. Hold it right there. <laughs> oh, you got to take a different one. There it is. Gotcha. <laughs> All right, ladies, but y'all make it happen. Thank you so much for having me. If there's Stormy. anything else I can do, let That's, me know. Dr. PK is calling you. <laughs> oh, hey, Stormy, Dr. PK. I want you to know I love, love, love you. I thank you. You you have made me so proud today. I'm sitting over here crying, crying, crying. And uh -huh. um, thank you for sharing. I really do believe that just because somebody on here with your same hue coming from your background her, hearing you have made a decision that they are going to go to the top and do great things i love 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 you and we are going to get together face to face when rona goes away okay yes ma'am yes ma'am god bless thank you so much thank bless you so you, much Stormy. awesome all right y'all have a good night god all bless. right you too Okay. Good yeah. night, sweetheart. Good night. Bye-bye. Okay. All right, team. Awesome. I am overjoyed. I'm sure that you guys are overjoyed as well. I'm going to unmute you guys for just a second. You guys want to add anything? She's amazing. <laughs> that was real. Um, yeah. 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 that, that struck my heart. Awesome. Awesome. Fabulous. Awesome. Thank awesome. you so much. Fantastic. Amazing. Oh She's awesome. Oh she said something. She said that. Also, were some great questions. I get the website. Where is the book available? Where is the book available? You can probably Amazon. 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 Okay. And live on the question. PK. Stop in PK. Okay. Um, I'm gonna mute you guys for. Can I say something to the? Oh, oh sorry. Who is that? I'm here. I'm here. Somebody was trying to say something, guys. Whew. Amazing. Okay. Um, just amazing. Just super excited. I know someone said they wanted to say something, and I know there's a ton of you guys on here right now, and we're just excited. I mean, we are in the right place. We're in the right industry. Uh, we just have to go to the next level. And if Stormy can, uh, almost a million dollars, $700,000 a month, okay? 700000 a month she's been in this industry for uh, 12 years. And I know Dr. PK wants to say something. We're in the right company right now. I, never have I been able to make money just being an, a normal person. And some of you are just getting started. You know, you're just getting started and you're already having that success that, it took some people years to get to, mm -hmm. right? 
I didn't make a lot of money in other companies. And over here, we have an opportunity to, to, um, to be a stormy of our industry. You know, she, there's only one stormy, but we have an opportunity to really do something great. And you guys have already started. It's about now going to the next level. It's about pushing yourself just a little bit further because you know, the, the, Finish line, you know, there is no finish line. You're going to continually get better and better. Dr. PK, you want to jump in and add? Oh, wow. I'll tell you, I am so, so excited about all of you being on today. And I know without a shadow of a doubt that our businesses are going to, all of us are going to shoot up. I just want to say to any of you, if you have someone that you would like for me to reach out to as one of our first Sunday speakers, I would be more than happy to get those uh, requests. Now, I'm gonna give you my number, but I want you to text me. Do not call me, text me, because uh, I have a big team now. Um, yes, and, you know, I, I have a big team. I'm, I'm saying what I know I, I won't, uh, but my number is 586-747-8000. Again, five eight six seven four seven eight thousand. Uh, be, it, it, it doesn't matter uh, who it is. We would check them out, pray over them, and ask God if they would be a good fit for our community over here. I pray that each of you got something good today that you can take and apply to your business. And most of all, I'm praying that Megan and Reagan are happy with the outcome of today because they are the ones I really want to make smile in this business as they lead us. We want to re-energize them so that they can keep giving us the good stuff that they have been giving us. We love you guys and uh, I'm off here. God bless you. Thank you, Dr. PK. Thank you. Um, I am gonna open it up for like three questions. <laughs> no, that's fine. There's a lot of you guys on here. Listen, we, I have a call at nine o'clock today. This is the time to take our business to the next level. You just heard somebody who has a, a, a tea product, you know, and they were able to take their business from the next level. Your business is going to grow. It's going to die. People are going to leave your business. Um, we can't get attached to people, especially when we've enrolled three people and we're so heavily attached to those three. Like those three are going to be the only ones to take us to the next level. So um, hopefully I've been waiting to, that's my first time talking, really talking to Stormy, so I'm blown away. Um, does anyone have a quick question? Donna, your hands up. Throw your hands up, guys, and let me do this. Wait a minute. Should probably mute them, right? No, if it's Donna Jones, my hand is not up. I didn't have a question. <laughs> oh. Okay. Did anyone have a question? Yes. How do I, I got a question. Go right ahead, sir. Why you guys are so beautiful? Okay, well, I'm trying to figure out how to find out how to say you wouldn't have website. Um, you wouldn't have been saying that last week yesterday. I was looking for up. I've been in the dungeon. Just tell them genetics. It's my mama. I got it from my mama. Real question only, bro. This is Sharon. Hi Sharon. Hi, okay. I, I just want to say I'm I'm from a family of I'm I'm blown away by twins, because, well multiples I should say that because we do have a set of triplets, but I'm seven generations of twins. My father was an identical twin, musician, and uh, I have twins. My mother had two sets of twins, a set of triplets. So it's it's gone on down the line. I'm a great grandmother, and I'll be. Getting, uh -oh, hold on. Let me meet somebody real quick. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, I, I'll be getting in touch with Dr. PK because I'm an Air Force veteran and I want to talk to her as uh, as a chaplain, my chaplain now. <laughs> so um, I'll be I'm I'm on board already. So I'm getting my three, my 10, I should say, actually, because I'm just going to hook it up that way because I've already made my my goal. And uh, sooner than later, I gave me some space, but I hope it's much sooner. Well, listen, okay, I real quick, guys, we have a nine o'clock tonight. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Sharon. Was that Sharon? I'll put it on the 
didn't log into the Zoom either. I logged in kind of late. Could you guys please sue me in or catch me up? <laughs> like, uh... you can watch the, you can watch the recording. You just missed Stormy. Stormy Wellington. Hello. Hello. Yes. Go right ahead. Yeah, I just want to know that this is an amazing journey. I jump on board on Friday, and in by Saturday morning, I have my 10. I already hit the first rank. I'm going to be hitting this the, the last rank in nine, in nine weeks from now. Awesome. awesome. Congratulations. Thank Congratulations. You. Just one step at a time. Just knock out those ranks one at a time. Hello? Yes, ma'am. Go ahead, Kimberly. Hi, this is Kimberly from Newcastle, Delaware. How are you both doing? We're doing well. Thank you. Uh, tonight's call was absolutely phenomenal. And if anybody wants to know how to position a profit, I think this was a great call for anybody to be on. And I'm super excited because I heard so many of my, my friends and colleagues say their names in the beginning. And so I'm so happy that they, uh, they, they said yes. They said yes to themselves and yes to <laughs> And I definitely um, will encourage everybody to jump on the 9 o'clock call tonight. That, that you guys are about to announce because this right here and what we have to offer is going to transition where folks are financially. And although money is not everything, it sure does help. Yes, it does. <laughs> I always say I'd rather be, you know, depressed in a Lamborghini than getting on the bus, right? <laughs> exactly, exactly. So I thank you both for putting this call together. I definitely encourage everybody to take a look at this opportunity and um, and say yes, say yes to yourself. And what we have to offer is just remarkable. So I'm just uh, considering myself a, a honor and a privilege to be here before you both today. Thank, Thank you, you so much. We Thanks appreciate you. Really. All right, I'm gonna take one more question and then listen, you guys have an hour and 10 minutes to go tell everybody you know to get on my nine o'clock call. Tell everybody, max out the call. Really, this business is simple. You just have to open your mouth and say, listen, I have a great opportunity. Are you interested? Are you open? That's it. Are you interested? Are you open? The worst they can say is no. And then say, do you know anybody who wants to make money, retire their parents, make a thousand, two thousand, five thousand a month, and then put them on the call. That's it. You just have to make sure you follow up with them. A lot of you guys lose business because you don't follow up with your people and they're and they're offended by that they're like if you're not following up with me now you're not going to be paying attention to me later that's why i try my hardest to answer all of your phone calls the 58 text messages that i have right now i'm going to i'm going to answer those 58 messages so i do have to hop off here because I, I do have to answer those calls before the nine o'clock guys go make some changes in your life it's really just about taking taking action and it's going to take some sacrifice just a little bit of sacrifice and then knock out the ranks get your three don't get three get ten yeah. right get your own ten hit your own five hundred dollars a month solidify your own ranks start a new chat like reagan and i she has her own group um everybody's in our main group but start your own group so that you can monitor your own business you can talk to your own people, um, you know, so, <laughs> so you guys, um, we're going to do our nine o'clock call. You guys don't see me on camera very often. So usually I have on a scarf and you guys, <laughs> I could just be as silly as I want because you guys can't see me. But anyway, so I'm excited. I'm going to upload this video to YouTube so that you guys can um, check it out, especially for the young lady who just jumped in late. Watch it over and over again. If you're not inspired, I don't know what's going to inspire you. Stormy makes seven hundred plus thousand dollars every thirty days. <laughs> every thirty days, if she can do it, she's consistent. She works really hard. But I'm telling you right now, we have one of the best opportunities for the little person like us. I don't have a big network. I just know how to duplicate. There's a difference. I don't know how to sign up a hundred people. I know how to take three people and turn them into a hundred people. There's a difference. So you guys don't feel like you have to, you know, sign up the whole world. You just have to take care of the people that you have. Mm -hmm. Make sure you start doing calls, step out there, right? Answer their phone calls, do their three ways. That's all we do, three ways and launch calls. So I will see you guys. I did want to say one thing though. You, uh, you guys have to understand what type of opportunity you have in front of you because you know like stormy said it's a competitive industry and sometimes people you know they'll jump around or they'll you know think it's better over here think it's better over there 
we have one of the best companies um, to be a part of. Number one, because our product is digital. So people are, they want things right now. You know, our product's digital. Our product makes you money, even if you don't want to tell a soul. You know, I tell people like, this is a membership that you would want to have. If Netflix paid you to watch movies, you would have a Netflix membership. So I want all of you on here, 500 or so of you on here to know that the opportunity that you're in will afford you the type of lifestyle that you want. You know, just like Megan said, you know, I was in a different situation, you know, uh, weeks ago, you know, that my mindset was the same. I was just in a different situation. So now with this opportunity, it's allowed me to get in here. It's a, uh, you're going to hear more on the nine o'clock call, especially for the people, the new people who are on, but please understand like this is a very powerful opportunity that you guys have your, your hands on that you can really do really big things really fast. So definitely want to see you guys on the nine o'clock call. Thank you guys for tuning in with us and we'll see you at nine. See you at the legends table.